So hey, hope you're all good. I've got a um, FCPX tutorial for you today. A few people have asked me about this on on my tutorial videos. I zoom into a certain area, so I zoom into let's say the brushes when I'm talking about the brushes, but the rest of the screen stays intact, right? I just zoom into the brushes. So I've got them both, one zoomed in and the screen stays intact. They've asked me how I do this. Um, you can do it with picture in picture, which is quite simple. You can do it with zooming in just from one clip. But I generally do it using masks. And the reason I do it using masks is because it's really simple. So I'm going to show you how to do it today, right? Um, so I've just got a, a clip that I just recorded. All I did was put Pixelmator on and just recorded it, just for the purpose of this tutorial, right? Um, first things first, first it looks like here I've recorded some audio on that clip accidentally. So I'm going to stop any conflictions on this video. I'm going to highlight my clip, right click, select detach audio, or you can press up, shift and S, which will get rid of it. Um, but let's just right click, um, detach audio, click into the gray, select the audio, press backspace. So that's the audio gone from the clip. So if you ever want to remove audio from the clip, any clip, that's the easy way to do it. Highlight the clip, right click, detach audio, click into the gray so you don't delete them both, um, and then delete the audio. Highlight the audio and then delete it. So yeah, so okay, we've got to this area here, and we start talking about, hypothetically, brushes in our video. So now what I want to do is zoom in on the brushes pane over here, while still keeping the rest of the screen intact. So I find the brushes pane, where I start talking about the brushes, highlight my timeline, press Command B on my keyboard to break it, to break the clip that is, find out where I stop talking about the brushes, Press Command B again on my timeline to break the clip. So this centre clip is where we want to zoom in and talk about the brushes. So we want to view the brushes in bigger screen here while still having the remainder of the screen because I'm doing stuff on there as well. So we're going to highlight the middle bit, the centre bit. We're going to use a few more keyboard shortcuts, right? We're going to press Command C, which copies our centre clip. Now if I just pasted it right here, like this, in fact I'll, I'll, I'll tell you in a minute, if I pasted my clip right here in the timeline, it would paste it there in the timeline, it would break this clip and it would paste the clip in the timeline. So I put it on the end here, press Command V to paste, so now I've got both these clips side by side. Right. All I'm going to do is lift one of the clips and the other will drop back into place where it should be. And then I'm going to drop that clip, clip by loosening the left click. And now I've got one clip above the other. On the top clip, this is where I'm going to want to zoom in. I'm going to use this one to zoom in. I'm just going to use a four-point mask, right? Just use an eight-point mask, which is standard, but it's just the same as using a four-point mask. I'm just cheating a little bit. I'm going to drag the four-point mask from my effects browser onto my clip, like so, okay? Simple. And with this bottom one, what I'm going to do with this bottom one selected, I'm going to right click and disable just for the purpose of this video, right? Because so you can see what I'm doing. So now I'm going to take my four masking points. I'm going to place them over, revealing my brushes. Because I want to talk about my brushes. So now I've revealed my brushes. What I'm going to do, because it's not very big, I'm going to make this bigger by going over to this button here, where you click it. Click transform, so highlight transform. Wow. Sorry about that. So yeah, so click this button here, highlight transform. And what I'm gonna do is go to my screen size at the top here. Click the drop down. Select 25% so I can see more of the screen. Remember I've still got my transform selected. So I'm just gonna drag out from the side and drag this center and move my brushes into view again. So now I've got my brushes zoomed in, click done, zoomed in, and if I highlight the bottom click, clip, right click, and enable, or you can just press V on your keyboard, disable V, enable V, press V on your keyboard. Now when I get to this bit, let me just make my screen bigger. Now when I get to this bit on my timeline, you will see this area here, the brushes will become big, right? So let me make this yeah, fit, so it does fit. Um, so you will see it in this area here. We'll, um, we'll get bigger, so we're going along, along in my timeline. I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking about something that I'm doing on the screen. Um, explaining something, and then I come to my brushes part. 
when I get to my brushes part, this is where my brushes will zoom in. So I can explain what I'm doing with my brushes. Still talking about my brushes on the screen. So this is all done afterwards, remember. And then when it comes to the end, the brushes again will zoom out and the picture will go back to normal. And that is as simple as it, as it can be. It really is that easy. If you have any questions or any problems, give me a shout and I will, um, I will try and answer them. Thanks a lot for watching. Catch you all later. Bye.